Just keeping it in play was Schroen. Another very dangerous ball in. Almost fell to Langwa. Still a chance. Langwa! The score for Hellas! Some may say it gets the flow, but South Melbourne have been threatening this any time they go into attack. Pat Langwa gets the first goal of the day in the 25th minute. Inside, Mikola has space to attack. Instead, he pushes to Langwa. The ball in behind's a good one. Ingham a chance to double the advantage. It's Mikola who pokes home. In fact, it might have been an own goal off the boot of a Dynamo defender, but South Melbourne, once again, they will not care. They double their money in double quick time. I'm happy to give that to Mikola. Wow, we were just talking about, Lockie, how stagnant they did seem to be attacking from the back. Malarabi, he must be. Play finally restarts. Richevich sending it in. Swed. His shot's blocked. The follow-up is in. St. Albert score. That will go into the shed. Only down one. Langwa standing on the goal line. And it will be him on the header. And Pat Langwa from a set piece. Already four rounds into the season. How many times have we seen this same script play out? Set piece, Pat Langwa, goal, 3-1 to South Melbourne. And you'd have to imagine, Adam, the game dead and buried for Hellas. Still alive, though, through Razumic. Collected that time by Jankovic. Alan Webb. Chances on the counter-attack. A fourth goal potentially. Oh, Alan Webb just took a bit too much of a touch. But the errant touch doesn't matter because Nikola Jurkovic, his day goes from bad to worse, giving away the penalty on Alan Webb, and that's his second booking. Kivas getting ready to blow the whistle. Sawyer against Brown, off the post, and into the back of the net from Harrison Sawyer. 4-1 for South Melbourne, and the first goal of the season for Harrison Sawyer. The South Melbourne number nine means that they can kick their feet up at the top of the NPL Victoria throne for another week to come.